But right now, you know, because of the simps, let's talk about the women. You can't choose a man that lacks certain qualities and then complain that he lacks those qualities. And then have simps up here talking about, oh, yeah, if a man does it, blanketly applying things to all men for some man that you chose. It doesn't work that way. Um, I would feel very disrespected if, if a woman tried to look at me as some man in her past or some man that she chose wrongly on or, wh or whatever. No, -uh. mm -mm. that's not going to fly. So let's look at let, let's let's look at another simp. One one common theme, like I'll say again, one thing that you'll see is these simps they speak one sided. They don't say men and women need to do this. Men and women need to do this. Men and women. They just say, oh, it's just all one bias. Let's see what else we have. Hmm. Johnny J. It says, if a woman is not submissive to a man, it's not because she lacks the ability to submit. Rather, he lacked the ability, the, abil the ability to create a place for her to let go. Hmm. That's another lie. That's another yes or no. I was just watching. I mean, I, I can't really stand Steve Harvey myself, but some, you know, some a broken clock is right two times a day, like they say. But I was watching a Steve Harvey clip to where this wife, she said, you know, I don't like the way it's hard on me how my husband is with our sons. And Steve Harvey said, well, wait a minute. You married him because he had all these great attributes, right? And she said, yeah. So she said, if you married him because he's a great man, why don't what uh why are you having a problem with him um with the way he needs to be towards your sons? You know, because a lot of women don't realize what a man has to do to to get to get sons straight. And Steve Harvey even told her, you might just need to get out the way. And see, the, the woman didn't want to submit because not because the man lacked um the ability to be a man for her to submit. She didn't she didn't want to submit just simply because she disagreed with his methods. She didn't trust him. She wanted she wanted to do what she wanted to do. He gave her every reason to submit. Sometimes you have to do what you know you have to do or you know you have to do what God leads you to do and just because people don't want to submit to it that's fine um that's fine you got to do what you got to do. But for some strange reason, simps like Johnny J right here want to bring it up and say, oh, you know, hey, a woman's not submitting because you're not doing your response solely because you're not doing your responsibility as a man. No. He should have said it in a yes and no fashion. Sometimes you have men that aren't doing their responsibility. But then other times when nobody's talking about the other half of the time or the other majority of the time. From what I do in my profession, the other majority of the time, a woman is not submitting because simply because she disagrees with her man or she disagrees with how he's leading. He could be leading perfectly fine. And just because she disagrees, all of a sudden he's not a man or he's not leading right or she doesn't need to submit. Hmm. I dare somebody to challenge that. I dare somebody to put in the comments to, to challenge what I'm saying. There's too many people getting divorces over irreconcilable differences simply because they don't want to do the relationship work and want to blame it on the other person. We always hear people talking about Oh, um, the husband's blaming the wife. You need to stop blaming your wife and, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. 
But then why is it okay for the wife to always blame the husband? Hmm. How about blame goes to where the accountability is? What happened to that? What, um, you can't blame her for what she's accountable for just because she's a woman? I should have put that video on there. There's some guy, some tattooed guy on social media, TikTok, Facebook, or whatever, talking about, oh, yeah, don't blame your wife um, because you're not leading. You're not this. You're not that. Well, what if it's actually the wife? What if it, it, you're, these simps are, are, are making it very hard on relationships? If it's the man, fine. Take accountability for what you need to take accountability for as a man. Go better yourself and make yourself better for the family. But in in, in my profession and what and what I do, I've seen too many men go out there and better themselves, get better, and the wife was still toxic and still try to blame things on him just because she didn't want to change. But these simps don't want to talk about that. And um, the more you pander to women, the more you pander to anybody, the, the, the more you be a crutch to anybody, they're not going to change. They're going to continue to be toxic. And honestly, that, that's why you have so many women in the single, lonely, and bitter club, because they're expecting a man to be like the simps that they subscribe to. And a man is not that. You're going to continue as a woman to, to, to your mental health, your mental relationship health is going to continue to deteriorate if you're looking for a man to be a simp. Because what's going to happen is, and what has happened is, by default, you'll get womanizers. By default, you will get the Pookie and Ray Rays because they don't mind putting up with your poor attitude for a temporary amount of time because you're temporary to them. A man that a man with legacy, once he sees that you're toxic and that you want him to be like the many simps out there, a real man's going to be like, uh-uh, I don't, I don't need this. And and that's why you see men men saying, uh-uh, I'd rather, I'd rather be single. I don't need this. And then you see the woman getting with another womanizer, having another baby. And then um, when, when, when he's done with her, oh, you need to step up. You just got a man with no step up qualities. He's not going to step up. You need to shape up. Shape up yourself and get with a responsible man that's going to hold you accountable. You can hold him accountable. And then you both cultivate the relationship. Let's see if we can look, look at another simp. Hmm. I can't play the the music. Six acts of chivalry. Approach and court properly. Pay without expecting something in return. Offer to get her car washed. Buy her flowers randomly. Don't spend less than $30. Wow. Lack of intimacy. Hmm. Problem with this. I'll leave it up there for a minute. Problem with this is that this also depends on what what woman that you have. What if she doesn't like flowers? You just spent $30 or $40 on flowers for a woman that doesn't like flowers. Know your woman. Don't, don't teach men to just randomly do stuff for women because, you, first of all, you have to make sure you can have a woman that appreciates it. You can't just be doing this for women just because um, you're being chivalrous, especially if that isn't your wife. You know, if that isn't your wife, you need to really tone it down because she could leave you at any time. She could, she can, th there's, there's too many women out there that are preying on male chivalry. Teaching your sons this will get them hurt. Protection, chivalry, healthy chivalry is for who it's for. We we always have these simp platforms talking about 
what men need to do for women. Okay. Where's the where if you go looking up and down, you'll never see them say what women do for need to do for men. 